Hi, I'm Lisa Squire, Senior Communications Advisor for Alberta Health Services, and this is Health Matters. Joining me today is Michelle Sauve with the Canadian Cancer Society, and we're going to be talking about Women's Health Awareness Month. So nice to see you, Michelle. Hi, Lisa. So what's happening these days at the Canadian Cancer Society? Well, we're just wrapping up Men's Health Awareness Month, and the focus was um, for men to be fit at 50. So we were asking men over the age of 50 to talk to their doctors about the FIT test, which is the FECO immunochemical test for colorectal cancer. It's for all Albertans age uh, 50 to 74. And we just encourage people to talk to their doctor about their risk for that type of cancer. This year, uh, this month rather, is Women's Health Awareness Month, and um, we're going to be talking to women about the things they can do to prevent cancer. Um, we know that up to 50% of all cancers could be prevented through healthy lifestyle. We're also talking to women about the importance of early detection and screening. And so given that it is uh, Women's Health Awareness Month, what are some things that women can do to stay healthy? So we really encourage women, if they are a smoker, to quit, um, to reduce their exposure to secondhand smoke. We encourage women to understand the risks of alcohol consumption. Um, less consumption is better, of course. We want women to make themselves aware of their risk for skin cancer through um, sun exposure and also to avoid use of tanning beds. Um, we also encourage women to um, make themselves aware of the importance of vitamin D in their diet, so talk to their doctor. Typically it's about a, a thousand international units a day. Um, we also want women to to um, learn about hormones and um, the impact that they can have on them. So if you're using hormone therapy, the risks of that, also birth control pills and the risks that that could have for cancer. And also we want women to be aware of the importance of vaccinations like HPV and how that can help to reduce their risk. And when it comes to early cancer detection, what should women be looking for? Well, we really encourage women, first of and foremost, to know their body and to know what's normal for them. And if you see a change, to report that immediately to your doctor. Don't delay. So things like um, a, a, a sore that won't heal, um, something that's painful, uh, extreme fatigue. Um, if maybe you have a mole that's changed significantly, maybe you have a bump or a lump that you didn't notice before. So just being really aware of what is normal for your body. And then if you see a change, talking to your doctor about that change. And then uh, also really important important is to understand your family history and to let your doctor know about that so that um, he, can, he or she can be aware and plan for the correct screening tests for you. And how does the Canadian Cancer Society help women who have been diagnosed with cancer? So we have some wonderful programs and services. Of course, nationally, we have our Cancer Information Service. That's our 1-800 number, 1-888-939-3333. That line can match or help people to um, answer questions about their cancer, treatments, diagnosis, um, prevention, um, any questions that a family member or caregiver might have. And we encourage healthcare professionals to use that as well. We also, um, through that 1-800 number, can match people with our Cancer Connection Telephone Peer Support Program. And locally, we have some inspiring hope support groups for women and we have lots of uh, practical programs like our financial assistance program our temporary prosthesis to help women who've had a breast removed we also have our wig bank and we can connect women with things like our look good feel better program that's offered here in medicine hat as well and is there anything else that you want people to know Absolutely. So um, although it is Women's Cancer Awareness Month, we want to talk with all Canadians, men and women, children, and encourage them to be aware of the things they can do to reduce their risk of cancer. Um, we know that to stop cancer in its tracks and change cancer forever, we need to help Canadians to be armed with information. We have this amazing new interactive tool called It's My Life. And if you just Google It's My Life, you'll either get Bon Jovi or our online interactive prevention site, and we encourage you to do that today. Great, thanks so much, Michelle. And thanks to all of you for watching. I'm Lisa Squires, and this is Health Matters.